Hey everybody, Patrick with Triptic Canine and of course Twix. I hope you're all having a wonderful day because today is a wonderful day. For those of you who have not been paying attention to my social media, today is the United States Marine Corps 245th birthday. So I wanted to just say happy birthday to all my brothers and sisters out there and Semper Fi. For those of you who do not know, Semper Fi is short for Semper Fidelis, which means always faithful, which is the motto of the United States Marine Corps. And the Marine Corps was found November 10th, 1775, in Tun Tavern. Yes, the Marine Corps was found in a bar. Anyway, back to what you came here for, which is Tuesday Training Tips. Today is episode 43, and we're talking about building confidence. Building confidence in your dog is crucial to having a wonderful life with your dog, and a dog that goes out and isn't terrified of everything. How do you build confidence? Pretty easy. Get your dog to go... Up things, over things, around things, under things, through things, and just be around different things. So these could be the stump that you find on your daily walk. It could be up and over a picnic table, under a picnic table, around a picnic table, getting them exposed to a lot of traffic, car sounds, horns, sirens, alarms, other dogs barking, anything like that. Get your dog around stuff. Get them over things. Get them through things. Make them experience as much of the world as possible. And do so in a safe manner. Some dogs get completely terrified of things and you need to take it slow. So you get closer and closer to whatever they're scared of each time. And why, why are we building confidence? Because sometimes you'll be walking down the street. that you have walked down a hundred times. All of a sudden there is a trash bag. And the dog's like, what, what is that? I don't know what that is. That's never been there before. Guess what? It's the same street your dog has walked down a thousand times. But one little change can send the dog not into a panic, but can make them a little more timid. But confident dogs, they look at it, they're like, oh, what's that? They're a little curious, and then they move on. That's what we want. We want confident dogs that might see something new, see it not as a threat, see, look to you, and you're just walking past it like, hey, it's nothing. They're like, oh. All right, I, I guess it's nothing. We're just going to keep going. That's what we want. Like I said, you do that by getting your dog out and around a bunch of different things a lot of times so that they view the world not as something to be scared of, but something to be conquered, something that they can thrive in. That's what we all want. Not just for our dogs, but for ourselves. We don't want to be afraid of the world. We want to see it as something that we can go out in, we can thrive in, and see it as something to conquer not be terrified of. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Get out there, have some fun, and train your dogs because training never ends.